Welcome to my one year happy anniversary video. This video is a compilation of three of my favorite videos from last year. A tabletop flag holder, bl black and white sign, and a boho patriotic rainbow. This video is part of patriotic DIYs open playlist. I'll tell you a little bit more about both of those things later on in the video. Project number one, tabletop flag holder. So we have some spare lumber, uh, this dog sign from Dollar Tree, a uh, star ornament from Amazon, and some folk art chalk paint and magic fly acrylic paint. So we're gonna prepare the wood for painting. So I sanded it down, took off the stickers, and now I'm mixing together some chalk paint and acrylic paint to get the color that I want. And I'm I'm not gonna be messy, but I'm I'm going to make it look old. I want to make it look old, like it's been stored in the attic, and then brought out for a couple months every year when you need some Americana. And uh, it's gonna hold a flag. It's a flag holder, and so every year, I, in my mind, the owners would every year get new flags and use this over and over again to display their flags you know whether it was a cookout or dining room table so we're just gonna get some paint down uh, just one coat and we'll actually send that down afterwards to make it the color that we really want we'll get some white paint down on that star and then I'm gonna send down these colors to make them look old when I'm happy with this sanding job, I'm going to attach the star to the blue portion and actually use E6000 and hot glue. So uh, long-term hold with the E6000 and short-term with the hot glue so I can keep working. So I saw established 1776 on a lot of patriotic uh, Americana type photos and Pinterest and uh, Google. So I decided USA established 1776 would be just a nice normal uh, something to put on this. And I remembered to use the transfer tape this time and not try and do it just all on its own. And I also remember to fill the space. Last time I used a uh, Cricut. I, my word looked small, so this time I made sure to do some measurements and uh, make the, the words fill the space. So I used the Dollar Tree da Dabber or Pouncer, however you want to call it. And uh, my white, uh, my chalk paint is like super, super thick. So I just kind of glob it on. Um, any other paint and I would be more careful and not put so much on the on the dabber or the little sponge there but um, this paint for some reason <laughs> this is really good for stenciling so it's not so much that it bled through it actually just kind of like there was just so much of it it just kind of oozed out a little bit but uh, I'm learning how to use my Cricut and I'm learning how to weed, so I'm already happy with how this looks. And you know, it, it may not be much to a lot of people, but uh, it's a little bit of professionalism for me. So, this is just uh, the, the flag flag holder portion of the craft and um you know I could have put a vase there or I could have put something more substantial um or a, a bigger hole and everything but I chose to just um look at the thickness of the flag there and then just choose a drill bit and make the hole and the first one was way too small so I'm going in and I'm doing it on a little bit of an angle because um, in the sketch that I made for this, the flag was sort of um, 
standing like sideways, or not sideways, but it had a slant to it. So I got the hole drilled and everything, and again, I'm just going in with E6000 and hot glue. And I'm pushing the blue block all the way to the end of the red block. So I leave that space just like that. And in goes the flag. And there you have tabletop decor. So this is a tabletop flag holder. And I'll show you a better view of it at the final reveal. Jumping in with a little bit more information. This video is part of the Patriotic DIY Challenge. This challenge happens every month on the first of the month. And the first of the month was also my um, premiere video. So Chantel from Crafty Hints is the host this month. And co-hosts are Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Their channel links as well as a link to the playlist will be in my description box below. May 1st is, as I said, is my one year channel anniversary. I said, uh, to celebrate, I chose three patriotic style crafts from last year because since my channel is pretty young, many of my subscribers, new viewers, or lurkers may not have seen them yet. The numbers will be out of order, but I hope you find some patriotic inspiration. Project number four, black and white home sign. So I'm so sad. I missed a whole bunch of footage at the beginning of this craft. So I'm just going to show you. This is the sign that I used. It's black on the back and it has this ray in the front. And I used the front because I couldn't get the tag off. And I just gave it a couple coats of uh, chalk paint, white chalk paint or Adirondack chalk paint. And you could still kind of see the, the white writing, but it wasn't super noticeable and I knew he was gonna do stuff on top of it. So I left it at two coats. And then I did words with both my Cricut and with a stencil. So, and I did so good with the Cricut too. I really wanted to show you guys, but um, I did each word separate and then placed them down, you know, sort of organically the way I thought looked best. I chose this rope as the border because of the black and white that seemed to be the theme. But before I could put that on, I wanted to just soften it up and give it this kind of distress treatment because the bottom words are actually lighter color than the top. So I kind of wanted to make them more similar. Um, then I moved on to the bow. The first part of the bow was just a loop glued together and cinched in the middle. And then I made this awareness shape and gathered it up in the middle, tied some of that nice looking jute round and round. And then I did that again to tie the two bows together. And you have the little double bow there, if I can actually hold on to it. All right, so before I could put that bow on, I needed to work on that border. So as soon as I do a couple of tight knots here on the back, I'm going to set the bow to the side and I'm going to start hot gluing the black and white rope. And just because this is a, like, this is a pretty simple craft, but we shouldn't, you know, rush through it just because it's simple. So I take my time getting the rope done and I give it a little twist as I'm gluing to keep it um, tight and together. And I don't even, you don't even have to glue like the whole strand. Like I just glue a little bit, hold it, glue a little bit, hold it. And then when I get to the corners, I actually take, you know, a little bit longer to hold the shape of the corner. And um, it's worth it because I like how it turns out. It doesn't round out the corners like uh, is possible if you just kind of glue it and let go right away. So finishing up here, I forgot I had some cricket stars that I made. I'm just putting them randomly in the bottom words there. And then I'll pop a few at the top. And there wasn't any really rhyme or reason to this. I just wanted to use a few stars and uh, 
I thought a few at the top there look good right next to the bow. I don't often do corner bows, so I felt like maybe I needed to balance it out. You'll see I already hung, uh, already put a jute twine on there. Um, I did it vertically like this because the holes were already there. So I just used more of that jute twine that I like for the hanging rope. And then I hot glued the bow and then that's it. And I'll give you a better view at the final reveal. Project number three, Boho Vintage Patriotic Rainbow. I don't know if there is such a thing, but if there is, this is it. So it's just a quick little project here. I got this from Dollar Tree uh, back when it was still a dollar. And I decided to leave the paper on so I could follow the guidelines. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but I go ahead and just sand it, rough it up a bit so the paint stays on. And I really don't like how it felt uh, to paint on the paper. So um, things like distressing um, just was, wasn't what I was used to. So, um, you know, if I had to do it again, I, I might have just used the back and done my own um, divisions in between the arches there. So anyway, I'm, you'll see me counting. I'm trying to make sure blue, white, red, and natural. So you'll see me add in the brown for the natural and I got a strip of white there to divide it from the next color. And so on and so on. <laughs> so I actually craft really slow because the first thing I do when I'm editing is speed everything up. So you can imagine how slow it is if this is warp speed. See, I was checking to make sure I had the right number of colors for the arches there. So we're just gonna get our colors on. And this is just, I'm gonna speed through this and edit a bunch out. It's just getting the colors in the right spot. And then once I'm done with that, I'll pop on some stars. And there's something at the end of this project that I didn't show you in the beginning that I decide to do. And uh, I'm just gonna let you watch. So this is before sanding and distressing. You can see how dark the brown came out. I really didn't like that. So I took a white and I added, oh, I'm adding some blue because the blue I used was chalk paint and it was rather dull. Um, so I'm adding some acrylic blue because it's a little bit brighter. I forgot about that. So yeah, that's the first thing I do because I'm looking at it going, whoa, this is like so dark. This, this is like boring and unattractive. And I'll be the first to admit it did look unattractive. So get that nice bright blue there. And then I'm gonna do the distressing. Then I took a break and printed up some stars off of my Cricut Joy and I got to thinking that the rainbow is kind of plain. We needed to zhuzh it up. And if you seen my previous uh, video, I did a boho neutral rainbow and I had lots of lace hanging from the bottom edges so I pulled out my red white blue and natural colored strings and twine and ribbon and decided to add on to this so you'll see me um, using the Cricut Joy stars just like stickers and I just printed up two just two random sizes. I knew I wanted smaller ones in the middle, but um, I think I measured it at like an inch. And as long as it was under an inch, I was fine with that. So um, I wasn't even sure if I would have enough, to be honest with you. And I thought I'll just do 
the same on each side so one on the bottom one on the bottom the other side and back and forth like that and then I just got to trim and I chose about 12 inches because I like that size I've used that uh, length in some of my other projects and then these are all burlap ribbons wired burlap ribbons so what I did is um, cut two lengths and trimmed the wired edges and then cut the actual ribbon in half. So I'd have two, two lengths to go. So I, I, I just thought that was a cool idea because it matched all the colors. Like it just came to me because I knew I had red, white, and blue ribbon and I haven't really used it a lot. So I always think it's important to do a dry fit. And so that's what I'm doing right here. I'm putting uh, everything down and just making sure I like the way it looks. And right away I realized um, the strings were gonna have to be in the front and the ribbons in the back. There wasn't gonna be any mixing them around. So I'm glad that I did the dry fit because I figured that out. So just a little dab of hot glue for each of the strings and each of the ribbon lengths. And then I'm gonna do one just to ensure that everything is adhered great. We need a hanging rope here. I just use some plain Dollar Tree twine. And you'll get a better look at this at the final reveal.